Hey everybody, it's time to have a look at another Atari SDE game. This time it's a game called Frogs and it's actually a new release. A game that was published in 2018 and developed by Thomas Ilg. And sorry for butchering the pronunciation of your last name there. It's based on a Commodore 64 game with the same name, released in 2017, developed by Christian Gleinzer. And it's basically an arcade party game with up to four simultaneous players. And in the SD version you can actually play against the computer if you want to. I don't think you could do that in the Commodore 64 version. And the game is free to download, check the link in the description. But you can also buy it if you want to and get a boxed version, which is pretty awesome. Seeing a boxed Atari SDE game in 2018. And uh, you can also get, when you buy it, a four player adapter that you stick in the printer port I think or something like that and uh, it gets you two additional joystick ports but I do believe you can find the blueprints for the uh, four player adapter on the internet as well somewhere and just build it yourself if you don't want to buy it and as I mentioned the game is playable and single player but it really is a party game so you will probably have more fun with it with some mates and a crate of beer or whatever stimulants you prefer <laughs> and uh, yeah that's the, the way to enjoy the game to its fullest really but let's start it up and check out the single player and i'm actually playing this on my real atari sd because finally i've gotten my replacement frame meister from japan it's been stuck in swedish customs for about two months and then it was stuck in japan before that for one month and just everything has been going wrong with the uh with the frame meister replacement but now it's here and it's working oh joy so yeah this is real hardware and i'm just gonna increase the volume a bit so i can hear the music so yeah this is the game and and i actually also discovered that i have a working joystick i have even a couple of them i have uh, remembered i um had a bunch of broken atari 2600 joysticks you know that black the black ones black and red ones so I actually built a couple of working ones out of the broken ones and uh, yeah it's not the greatest joystick in the world <laughs> it's okay it's better than nothing so I'm kind of back to recording with real hardware so that's good right so let's just select the language plenty of languages to choose from let's do English because I am best at that I believe oh there's even Finnish interesting cool Oh, that's done by Marco, I think, uh, the guy over at Atari Mania. Hmm, cool, did not know that. So here we have the setup screen. Let's do four players. And I want to do four computer, con no, sorry, three computer controlled frogs and one. Uh, that is me controlled by my humble Atari joystick. And I don't know, there's different game modes, there's battle, there's countdown there's bug hunt yeah three different game modes bug hunt i believe you need to eat the the flies that fly around so let's just go with that score is how many points you need to win uh, there's different ponds so let's just go with the first one for the fun of it sound is music plus frogs just frogs just music let's do both music and frog sound effects Graphics, you can actually run the game in Commodore 64 mode, which means you're going to be using the low-res graphics from the Commodore 64 version. But let's not do that. Let's enjoy the super high-res frogs of the Atari STE. So let's start the game. And this is an STE-only game, I think. So you need to run around, jump around rather, on these... Um, what do you call them? I don't remember what you call them in English. You need to push the frogs <laughs> off anyway. <laughs> it's a very simple gameplay. Ah, oh, you bastard. Uh, right, let's go grab that damn fly. So yeah, this is basic of the game. You need to push the other frogs off. And um, very simple stuff, but also quite fun. Even single player is rather fun, actually. It's quite quite frantic. And yes, you can see that you, you fall into the water if that leaf disappears. What do you call them? Ah, uh, I can't remember. I cannot remember for some reason. But they do sink. And if you're on them, you sink as well. No. Cheaty bastard frog. Come on. Don't. Damn, the, I call hacks. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm not doing super well. I'm eating flies, of course. I think that gets me points as well. So if I get to 10... I was 
fudge. I still win, right? And the spongy. Uh, no. Uh, Twenty-six hundred joystick isn't quite as bad as I had expected. No. <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely see myself enjoying myself now uh, with this game with four players. Absolutely. Oh, no. Yes, give me a crate of beers and some mates and this would definitely be fun. But maybe I would like to have a different joystick <laughs> because, man... <laughs> yeah, this is really solid fun, I have to admit. It's just a little bit of a shame that you can't see very well when the when the leaves disappear. It's really hard when you're standing on them. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, it's really hard to see. Gotcha. Uh, when the leaf is gonna disappear, so you're gonna have to take a chance there. But I suppose that's just fun. Keeps the pace up of the game. I'm just gonna be a cheap bastard and just try and eat flies and try and win that way. I know, I'm cheap. Thank you. Come on. And the AI is not terrible. I mean, it's pretty good, actually. It's pretty sneaky. It's pretty hard to uh, trick the computer-controlled frogs. And I win! Yay! <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's do uh, Pond B, maybe, just for the fun of it. Slightly different. I'm not sure how many there are. There's four, five, six. Oh, seven? Eight. Oh, it's quite a few. Oh, that one looks interesting. Let's do that one. Oh, shit. I thought I was the other frog. <laughs> yeah, as I said, the AI is... Um, oh, shite. Is uh, pretty good. It's hard to trick the uh, computer-controlled frogs. Look at that. He's not, he's not wanting to come this way. <laughs> because he knows I'm going to be a dick. And push him off. But let's just be patient. <laughs> Patience pays off. But come on, I want to be getting onto that main thing in the middle, please. I'm kind of stuck here. Here we go. Yeah, the joystick isn't as, as terrible. Oh, nope. As I had feared. But it's not great. Let's just say that. And I'm not even sure this is a, an a original 2600 joystick because it seems like... Uh, um, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> like this is some sort of pirate version. It doesn't quite look right, but it is working, so um, I'm happy about that. Could I please be allowed to get anywhere near the other frogs? Because that would be a lot more fun. <laughs> Thank you. No. Oh yeah, double, double kill, double kill. No. Oh, I think he he actually committed suicide. That one. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, this is actually surprisingly fun in single player, I must admit. Although it is, of course, a lot more fun in uh, in multiplayer. So, yeah. Come on. Oh shit! Let's go grab that frog because I mean fly. No, oh, oh, bastards! Come on. Damn, it's tricky. Sometimes the frogs are just standing on top of each other. It's really rather hard <laughs> to see what's going on here. Ah, gotcha. The graphics are really simple. There's nothing terribly special about them, but they do look rather nice and they, they're fast and smooth, which is always kind of nice. No, no, oh. Uh, they, they are ganging up on me. <laughs> All right. And I'm not sure if this game will run on a standard SD or if you need to use an SDE. I have no idea. Oh, this one can be cheated or exploited, this poor frog here. No, 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 no. Oh, I... Oh, no. I committed suicide. <laughs> Come on down. Yep, yeah, thank you. I think you lose a point as well when you die, so that's kind of... Let's just check. No, you don't. Hmm, that's weird. It just seems like I'm... I should have more than four points. Ah, goddamn you. No. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and look at that frog, he just... Ah, okay, it was game over. Let's just try Countdown and let's do... Ah, oh, this one looks interesting. So this is it's an all-out frogger battle. I like this map. Come on, push him down. <laughs> I know I'm being a dick. <laughs> oh shit! The Commodore 64 version looked pretty cool as well. Uh, I mean, it kind of looks like this, just more blocky. But I don't think you could use um, or play against computer-controlled frogs, which is a bit of a shame, of course. Or maybe it was just me not being able to figure it out. I think the uh, the game idea is an original concept by uh, by the original creator, whose name is currently escaping me. Christian Gleinzer. Yeah, Christian Gleinzer. Yep. Oh, I was. I actually was looking at the wrong frog there. I get get a little bit confused because everything is just on top of each other. So I don't know what's going on here. No! <laughs> I only got one point. What? Why? How is this possible? How am I only... At one point. Come on! Oh, I got sidetracked there, literally. <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, you kind of count down from ten, I guess, and once you're at zero, um, you lose. Interesting. So I don't get to play anymore. Battle. I don't think that's much different. It's probably just no flies and uh, just kill frogs, basically. Let's see if there's any other ponds. Yep, gotcha! Ah, come on. Can I? Yeah, it's pretty hard killing these frogs. <laughs> oh, and then I kill myself. Otherwise, I have to say the controls work very well. They're pretty damn tight. And thankfully, you can't just hold the stick in a in a direction, and then the frog will just move in that direction continuously. Because that would have been bad. You actually need to press the stick again, if you know what I mean, to be able to move makes it a lot easier not falling off by mistake. I like that. Nice little touch. Oh, no, 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 no! Did I kill myself? I think I did. I'm uh, not sure. Ah! No! No! Sometimes it's hard turning around, though, without actually jumping, so that's kind of tricky. But I'm guessing there's more to do with the spongy joystick than... Ah, oh, I didn't realize there was a leaf there. <laughs> And they're not called leaves. What the heck are they called? I cannot remember. And then I kill myself again for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, the action is quite frantic. <laughs> yeah, I would really like to play this with some friends. Pretty damn enjoyable. Oh, that frog actually killed itself. Or was that me again? I think it was. I, I just keep losing track <laughs> of who I am. I don't know why. It's just everyone is sitting on the same rock, and I get completely confused. Uh, oh, oh, God, you bastard. You got me from below. Come on up. Come on. I'm going to be cheap bastard here. Ah, oh, God. And then I kill myself. I just keep doing that. <laughs> yes, I win again. Awesome. Put on the shades. Yeah, this is a really solid fun game, even in single player. But again, if you really want to be enjoying it, then definitely go for that four player adapter and uh, buy a crate of beers or whatever and have a, have a blast, pretty much. And with that, I think we are done. It's going to be a pretty short video. We're not going to have a look at any reviews since this is a newly released game. So uh, why don't you just download it and check it out? It is quite fun to play, I must admit, even in single player. So guys, hope you enjoy this rather short video about frogs and uh, hope to catch you in the next one. Cheers.